and welcome to a new After Effects basic tutorial. My name is Cassie from Cassie Director and in this beginner tutorial I want to show you how you can go and import footage or your clips and how you can create compositions. Let's get started. So there are three ways to go and import footage. Also there are three ways to go and create a composition. But first have a look how you can import your footage. The first way is go in on the top menu bar and click on file. And in here you can find import. When you hover over there it shows you more options. It is file. It is just for a single file to import. Then multiply files. You can import more files. And the third one that should maybe you are interested in it, it's a Premiere project. So if you have Premiere Pro, you can go and import our Premiere Pro project. It's very handy. So all the other ones, it's you not really need right now. So this is one way to import your clips into the project panel. Um, so another way is to go and just do a drag and drop. Um, when you open the folder and you just go and drag it, hold on, and you see the plus sign, drag in the project panel and it imports your footage. So now I show you the third way to import your footage. Just go and double click in this project panel and now well, it's already opened my folder, but search for your folder and here is the footage that I want to import. So, uh, And here you can see now the footage. So some basics about the importing footage, also the project panel. First of all, on the top, you can see a little screen here. It's our, like a preview of the footage. Also, you have the name, the result resolution, frame rate, and some other information. The next step is maybe you have thousands of clips in here. C well, maybe some hundreds, not thousands. Um, you can go and rename your footage by just select the footage and go and hit return. So I will go call it woods. Because it's a footage I filmed in the woods. You will see later. So um, another helpful thing is when you go and expand this here, you have so many different options. You can see it's a quick time movie. Also, you can see the size, um, how the file size is, the duration, and the f the path where you would um, import it from. Also, you can go and add more columns to it, like write a comma to it, and frame rate, and all in point duration. Uh, you not really need this, so but it's just I want to explain it to you. Also very helpful when you have lots and lots of projects, maybe one or two clips you go and edit together. Um you can go and change your color here on these uh no idea what this is the name is, whatever. Select label. A label. So you can change the color to maybe red. Now the label is red and so you can have a very good overview of all your footage uh, and compositions because in the project um, panel it will also be keep um, the normal footage and all the layers and all the compositions and the music and pictures everything. So I duplicated now one to show you our bit of um, of change. So maybe you have hundreds of clips. Also, you can go and search for a special clip. So I could go and type woods. Well, it would show up this clip here. That's another helpful thing. Also, when you have hundreds of clips and you maybe have one or two that you not really want to use, just go and select the current clip and, and hit the delete button to delete the file, the composition, the project, whatever. So maybe you imported 10 or 20 files and you not really can remember what it was. So maybe 
yeah, and you want to rename it, but you don't know what it was. So to it was would be very complicated to go back into Windows or Mac wherever you are and search for the clip and have a look and watch them in the um, in a player something. You just need to go on the clip here, and this is just a preview window. To watch the, ac the actual footage, just go double click on the footage here and bam. Here you have the kind of footage viewer, that's what I call right now. And you can scrub through the footage here. Yeah, it's very shaky. Um, and yeah, so also you have lots of other options here, but that's another tutorial. And also you can go when you are in here, you can go and use your mouse wheel to go zoom in and zoom out. Maybe you zoomed in very close to something and you don't know what's on the left and right. Which if you, you can drag it because yeah, you can't. So just go hit this hit and pr keep pressing the space bar and then your hand comes up. Yeah, now you could go and drag it around, maybe zoom in more, drag it around, or just go zoom out. And you see it's a, a weird position here, right? As so, well, just go drag it in back into the middle and stop pressing the spacebar. That's that. Okay, next I want to go show you how you can create compositions. So first of all, the normal first way would be go and go into the menu and go to composition and there you see new composition when you click there you get the composition settings and here in the composition settings you can choose choose our name for your composition so maybe scary what's just for for fun we only will have a look for the basic um, settings panel because the advanced pedal you not really need. So let's go back to the basic. And in here you can read preset. Mm -hmm. I will go and show you some presets here. You could have some more or less, depends on what software you have on your computer or Mac because sometimes it adds more presets to it. Depends on how many and chord uh, yeah presets you have so whatever i want to go and show you something i could go and select right now 720p but i want to show you something else and for that example i need another format so let me select um, let me select what i should use well let's use a web video okay 320 by 240 Oh my god, nobody would use this. Whatever. Um, you not really have to look at the lock uh, aspect ratio. And not really have a look at the pixel aspect ratio. The only thing you need to have a look for the frame rate. Well, you not really ha should have a look right now on the 50 frame rate. But a normal video maybe has 23.976 uh, frames, 24, 25. 24 or 29 9, or the 30 frame maybe 60 frames something depends on what's your footage um, then the resolution it shows you the quality of your projects but this you can change when you um, go and editing um, in your um, in After Effects also you can go and change this all that choose it when you go and render well export um, out of After Effects start time code you not really need well when you don't want to start at zero maybe at one minute then set it to one minute this is milliseconds seconds minutes and hours so right now you see 27 seconds mm-hmm okay let's use choose this whatever and then here you can see background color that's not really important but i have it always black so but also you can go and what whatever select light gray but let's go back to black so let's go and hit okay 
this is a very small window and if I would go and drag right now my footage into this comp in the timeline here mm, you would see this is not right so what could I do I could drag it around but I want to see my whole clip right we will go in a second and fix this problem but first of all I want to show you the other two ways to go in and cr um, create a comp the third way is to go and create here this button to create a new comp then you get the same window and can choose between all your settings and hit ok and then you created a comp one with the same settings but we not really need this so whatever um, also you can see here it's com1 this is the second composition we created you can switch between the first and the second so also you can, can go and click it away if you don't want to also you can go and double click on this comp1 so it's the second composition that we created and it pops up again so let's go delete this delete it so um and the third and best way also to go and create our good composition is just go and use your settings from your clip so just go and select your footage and this is the third way to create a composition go and drag it to this composition button bam now i have a composition with the same settings from my clip and this is good because you don't lose quality or the resolution or the frame rate that's the best so let's go back into the first comp to fix this problem here well the first thing you could do what would be stupid is to go to layer transform and then you could say fit to comp now you have a 320 by 240 video but you see the resolution is shit so maybe let's go back undo and now I want to go and change the composition back to this window uh, yeah it's not that difficult just have the settings in your mind so just go to the composition menu bar button and there you can change your composition settings now you can go and select a preset whatever you want well maybe it should fit um, my composition so maybe this one no you see it's um, not really fitting in the window here but it's really difficult to get it and match it in there the best thing is to go and yeah go to layer on the top here and then go to transform and in transform you can fit um, fit it into the composition so fit it to comp or just the width or the height well I will go and fit it to the comp and now uh, it's uh, my god what the happened again well press the space bar yeah it's really on today and this is it um all the other um things about the uh, menu bar and the timeline window um here and the options in the viewer here it's all another tutorial i hope i could help you guys and please so maybe you can go and give her a thumbs up if you like the video and support me this way also you can go and maybe leave a comment and let me know what do you think about the tutorial and what I maybe should I change what you want to know next and also what um, maybe you have a request for other visual effects after effects cinema of the or photoshop tutorials all in the comments or write me a message contact me on facebook or twitter okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching and see you next time